Planet Mars, one of the most fascinating planets of the solar system. With its rocky surface covered in red dust, its canyons, volcanoes and craters, the planet excites not just space explorers, but also those with an artistic and scientific mind. Introducing Mars Soundscapes, a project aiming at translating images from Mars rovers Curiosity and Opportunity and data from the Mars Global Surveyor spacecraft into music. You heard it right, data is turned into music. How? Through a process called sonification. We talked to Professor Domenico Ficinanza and Professor Genevieve Williams about this process and their involvement in the project. Data sonification is the translation of data and scientific information into sound. In this project, we worked with um, Mars rover pictures that were uh, taken on from Mars surface, and we converted them into, into sound using uh, a process that were able to map certain characteristics of the image, like the brightness or the amount of red, blue, and green into audible frequencies. The idea is, if a certain region was brighter, we could have a higher frequency or a higher pitch. In this way, we can actually convert information like landmarks, position of volcanoes, rocks, into something that people can actually listen to. We can listen to shapes, we can listen to, uh, to rocks using, uh, using this technique. The process of sonification is relevant for science as well as art because it gives us a different medium through which to explore our data and particularly um, listening to data through sound and music um, is a really natural way for us to experience um, melodies and rhythms and we're naturally very good at picking out rhythms and melodies and patterns with our ears uh, and we're actually better at this than doing it with our eyes. Um, an added layer is that we can also perceive multiple streams of data at one time so have a multi-dimensional um, representation of a data set which again we're very good at picking out patterns and uh, we're also good at picking out when our data doesn't necessarily follow the pattern that we were expecting it to do and um, of course these repeating patterns are characteristics of what we generally see in nature so whether we're studying uh, how the uh, climate changes over time seismic activity or any of the kind of data that we get from our Mars probes, um, we can tend to pick up these patterns um, and make sense of them.